Hello and welcome again to our college football bowl game predictions. This is the Bell Helicopter Armed Forces Bowl between BYU Cougars and the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Tulsa comes into this game with an 8 and 4 record finishing 3rd in Conference USA. Well, BYU comes in 9 and 3 and they are an independent, which means they are not in a conference. The main outlying statistic that I see that uh, really jumps off the page stats-wise is Tulsa's giving up an average of almost 28 points per game while BYU's only giving up 20. So it's, it looks that BYU's defense is uh, significantly better yes. than Tulsa. Yes, uh, BYU's defense is ranked 23rd in the nation, as Carter said, giving up only 20.3 points per game. So they definitely are going to be a, they're definitely gonna be a deciding factor in this game. All four of Tulsa's losses this year comes to teams ranked in the top ten. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Boise State, and Houston. So you really kind of wonder whether they could have gone undefeated this year. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely could have. I think they're 24th in the nation in scoring with about 34 points a game and 23rd in total offense, averaging about 455 point, uh, yards a game. So, I mean, good offense against a strong defense in BYU is going to make for a good game. Speaking of offense, the passing attacks between BYU and Tulsa are very, very similar. But the rushing attacks, uh, in terms of yards per game, uh, differ more dramatically. BYU comes in 53rd in the nation, averaging 165 yards per game, while Tulsa comes in 24th in the nation, averaging 205 yards per game. Now, that may not seem very significant, but it's that's a pretty big jump in terms of rushing yards. Yes, with a... Tulsa's Jatarian Douglas with his, or both uh, running backs for Tulsa, Jatarian Douglas and Trey Watts, both ran for over 800 yards. They're, Tulsa's definitely a running, mostly, or not mostly running, but a good running team. And with uh, Jatarian Douglas, he averages about 8.2 yards a carry, which is the best in the in the D D1. So uh, he's definitely a force to be reckoned with. The quarterbacks for this game are Riley Nelson for the BYU Cougars, who is coming back for his first game since a rib and lung injury against Idaho on November 12th. Before that rib and lung injury, he had nearly 1,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, and only five interceptions with a 61% completion percentage. Yeah, and in that, in that Idaho game, he went 25 for 37, and he went for career-high 363 passing yards and three touchdowns, so losing him definitely was something major for the Cougars, but it looks like they were definitely fine. He will be starting back, as I said earlier. This will be his first game back since that injury. Tulsa's quarterback, G.J. Kinney, comes into this game with a 3% higher completion percentage, completing nearly 64% of his passes, and almost 3,000 yards in the year. He's also got 25 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. Yes, he's also, he's also a dual threat. He's, he has run for over 400 yards, and he's also uh, passed for 300 or more uh, yards on the season five times, so he's That's... definitely... He's definitely a good quarterback. Definitely a big game threat. Well, BYU, this is their seventh straight uh, bowl game under their head coach, Bronco Mendenhall. And anyone named Bronco is probably really good. And their last one coming up uh, last year when they beat UTEP in the New Mexico Bowl 52-24. to So, I mean, they still got a good team now. Tulsa has won three straight bowl games, averaging about, crazy, about 56.5 points per bowl game. That is wow. But they played Bowling Green, Ball State, and Hawaii. That is less wow. Yeah, but still, averaging about 56 points per game, that's crazy. That is quite nuts. BYU has a 1.5 spread over Tulsa, and I think that's right. I think that uh, since BYU coming from the Mountain West, having a tougher conference and still not doing bad in that conference against Tulsa, I think BYU definitely has more experience in big games against tougher opponents, and I think they will come out of this one with a win. As I said, BYU will win this game. I think that just with G, uh, with Riley Nelson uh, and their 23rd nationally ranked defense, I think BYU can defeat the Golden Hurricane. I think the final score will be BYU over Tulsa, 27-24. I take BYU in this game as well. Uh, this game could pretty much come down to a coin flip. Uh, the one and a half spread doesn't really mean much. Uh, so I will take BYU in this game by a score of 31 to 24, 
because this is BYU's first year out of a conference as an independent, so they still know what it's like to play good teams coming out of the Mountain West, taking on like teams like TCU and uh, stronger teams than the, that are in Conference USA. So I think Boise State, I, so I think BYU will be able to handle themselves better in this game. Thank you for watching this episode of our college football bowl game predictions. Join us next time when we preview the New Era Pinstripe Bowl between Iowa State and Rutgers.